Hey everybody, good morning, this is Rob Muffet. Guys, this is a continuation of a previous video we made. I said we, didn't I? Who, who is we? <laughs> That's me. <laughs> uh, this is another video about the Aqua Bell. I'm uh, gathering my material and I've got the pump. I picked that one I thought would work and I got it. It came and I took it apart and I cleaned it up. I thought I'd show you guys what I'm purchasing and uh, how I'm preparing it for use. I purchased the uh, the Boyu ACQ906. I'll leave a link to the one I got. You can get them on Amazon and eBay. I like Amazon better. You can uh, get refunds easier, I think. And uh, I think it's going to meet my requirements. And I'll leave a little uh, uh, photo. You can see the different models that they make with the different specifications. So, But I got the 906. And I'm also going to be using a air filter in line on my tubing to remove any particulate matter, or any uh, dust, or maybe even the oil fume. But it's an oilless compressor, and I cleaned everything so there shouldn't be any oil residue. I'm also using some vinyl tubing that's on order. It's a quarter inch. It's a food grade, uh, very high quality tubing, and I'm only going to be going down about 15 feet. I know this can go to 35 feet, but I'm not going to go very far. I'm going to just use in the pool or if you need to work on the boat or something, or maybe lobstering, but that's about it. So I don't really need a very strong tubing. And the the, the vinyl uh, tubing I'm getting, the food grade, shouldn't have any residue, and it's not going to be heated up, so it shouldn't have any issues of breathing anything. If you guys know any different, let me know. But remember, for the pressure I'm using is very low, and the depth is very low, so I think it should work out fine. Um, that covers the tubing I'm using. I'll leave a link to it, and the filter I'm going to be using, and the pump. So let's go over the pump, how I opened it up and cleaned it. When it came, it's rather small, lightweight, which is good. It's your standard small oilless compressor. I turned it on to make sure it worked. took the cylinder head off and which was very easy to do when I did I saw a lot of dust and, and accumulated uh, debris on top of the membrane and also the workmanship it was parts of it was uh, it needed to be uh, filed down and sanded because it was kind of rough and I think it could eat up the rubber diaphragm which was fairly easy to do because part of it is aluminum so it wasn't hard to work on at all. I used the sandpaper for the outside and uh, I used a file to get down some rough marks on the edges. And then I took some cleaner. I used a simple green to clean the, the rubber diaphragm and uh, then to get any dust off of the, the uh, parts after I sanded I used the alcohol. And that was it for the, the, uh, the cylinder and the piston head, but the cylinder head, I took the, the machine screws out and I couldn't pop that out. I know it's not screwed in. All it is is there's a little diaphragm in there, rubber diaphragm. There's no metal moving parts in the cylinder head. So there shouldn't be much debris in there. But I did want to open up to see if I needed to clean it, but I couldn't figure out a way to open it up. So I'm going to have to let it go. Um, I think what they do is they probably heat that cylinder head and then that plate pops in with the press. It's it's not screwed in. And there's no bolts or nuts or screws holding it in. So it would be difficult to get it out. And I think I might break the seal. And it would not work as good. So I'm just going to leave it. There's no metal moving parts. So there shouldn't be any residue up there. And the diaphragm down below was looking pretty clean. Except for the dust. So I think it's going to be okay. So I cleaned off the parts after I sanded down and scraped down. And I put it back together, and the pump works fine. It's got a pretty nice flow. Once the tubing gets here, I'll see how it works underwater and give you more update. If you want to know about the parts, I'll leave a link to them down below. And uh, they'll be on Amazon. If you guys save an Amazon link, if, when you go back to Amazon in the future, if you use that link, if you buy anything from there, they throw me a few pennies. It helps out. Um, 
Guys, hope you like this video. If you're thinking about doing something like this, it was very inexpensive. Don't know if it works yet. We're still finding out. Uh, we're going in the darkness here. Have some fun underwater. But like I said, it's kind of dangerous if you hold your breath coming up. You will still want to be knowledgeable about underwater diving, guys. Want to be careful out there. Okay, I'm starting to ramble here. <laughs> That's always a sign. I need to go. I'll be putting on more videos real soon. I put on videos every week regardless. But I'll have another video on about the... Uh, the air compressor and the aqua bell as soon as they get the tubing and the filter. All right, guys, hope this little tip, little video helps you guys and you come back and watch more. And I appreciate you guys watching. Like I said before in another video, it's because you guys watching and, and, and YouTube throwing me a few pennies. I get to buy stuff like this and fool around and have some fun and share with you guys. I hope you enjoy it and come back and watch more.